Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. A lot of people see this big cabinet behind me here, and then they see me open it to magically reveal supplies and tools inside and wonder what it is, how it works, and where to get it. This magic cabinet is called a dream box. I am a big fan of the dream box because it not only lets me store a lot of stuff in a small space, really, but it's like a room in a box because there is this awesome table inside and you can position the swing doors so everything is within arm's reach. It is so cool. The dream box has transformed my craft space and my workflow. Uh, this one here is actually brand new. It's the new Dreambox 2, which is the next generation of Organizer. It was just announced. In fact, you might have heard about it. I was invited to be a tester because I'm a total fangirl of Dreambox, and I just set it up a couple days ago. I am really excited about it. You know, if you've been waiting to get one or on the fence about it, this new one might just be the thing you needed. So I just want to show you some of the awesome things about the dream box and share what keeps me coming back to the dream box as an organization solution. Just know that this video is not an ad, nor is it sponsored in any way. I bought this dream box with my own hard earned money and the only discount I used was the same one that you get. I know some of you are curious about the dream box, so I want to share my top five reasons why I love the dream box too and one reason I don't, the honest truth. So first and perhaps the biggest thing for me is how I can open and close the dream box, which I often do here at the studio. This lets me keep my chaos controlled and allows me to share and show only what I want at any given time. So I can have just this tidy cabinet showing when I want, but still have easy access to everything simply by opening it up and looking at the totes with my things. I love that it looks like nice furniture too. You have options about how it looks. I chose the dual panel door for my dream box too. Some people choose to decorate theirs, but I've kept mine white so it just blends into the background of the room. It's not uncommon for people to keep a dream box in a shared space like a living room or guest room and then be able to close it up because that is just huge when you know your rear room is doing double or triple duty. So second, there is a really, really cool table inside the dream box, this one. So because of the table, it essentially becomes a room in a box and it's a workspace whenever I need it. And when I'm here at the studio, this is often right where I'm working, right? I love to sit here, have all of my things around me. The Dreambox 2 table is new and improved, in fact. Um, and get this, there are no legs <laughs> to get in the way at all. Those are some really strong hinges, but you can still close it up really, really easily, just like this. I love this table. And on the Dreambox 2, the table's actually wider than it was before, and it's less deep. So it's really easy uh, to get to all of your stuff. It's basically easier to use than ever before. All right, third thing I love about the dream box is that there is a built-in light right up here. In fact, every new dream box too comes with a super bright LED light that it seems just as bright as like a daylight hot light. If you get the crown, which is this up here, as I did, it adds a second light. I can really see everything really, really well. I don't need any extra lighting with these two lights. I even got a little fancy this time and I hooked the lights up to my smart device with a smart plug and now I can turn the lights on and off with a voice command. <laughs> you ready for it? Let's try it. Hey Google, Dreambox off. Isn't that awesome? All right. Hey Google, Dreambox on. I love it. All right. Fourth, all of the storage inside is customizable and configurable. These big totes store tons of stuff, including my 12 by 12 inch paper and other materials totally flat without like, you know, bending it or anything. And the medium and the small totes store all the smaller stuff. I can change everything around to suit my needs whenever I want to, which I often do. You will see my dream box change a lot if you watch my videos closely. There's also storage for big stuff at the bottom. 
uh, which I've got my sewing machine and cutting machines down there. And then they're stored for things I want close at hand on the swing doors here and here. There are 24 hooks, so double the hooks from before to hang my tools, four rods to store ribbons and other little things, and movable pockets in the swing doors to stash stuff. A lot of people say that all their stuff would never fit in a dream box. And I also thought that before I got one. But all of this vertical storage is really deceptive. You can fit so much in a small space when you go vertical like this. It's one of my best tips, in fact. All right, five, my number five reason why I love Dreambox. I can truly customize the Dreambox to suit my needs. The dividers in the top and the bottom of Dreambox 2 can be changed to fit my stuff. For example, I was able to move um, two cutting machines and my sewing machines, two of them, down here. But if I decide to switch that up, I can fill this side all with totes instead. And the top section here can be configured differently depending on your needs. It can be mostly totes, or you can use this short divider like I have to put in your large monitor or computer, or to have a shelf here so you can have all of your extra tools and stuff right at hand. Uh, this basically makes it like an office in a box then. I also really love the thoughtful touches on the Dream Box too. The ability to customize the vertical storage. I can now store my cutting machine mats right in here. The rounded edges on the table corners. The way I can reach above the table to get to my totes and how I can get totes from the swing doors when I'm sitting and working. Now, usually when I get to this point in talking about my dream box, people say, wow, this is cool, Jennifer, but how much is it? And I won't sugarcoat it. A dream box is not cheap. It is a big investment at just over $2,000. Uh, in fact, even with my discount code, which is usually the very best discount you can get. Um, and I get a discount code because once I fell in love with the dream box, I asked to become an affiliate so I could pass on a discount. But it's the price that's the hardest thing for me, honestly. Um, it's the thing that I don't like about the dream box because I want everyone to have all of the awesomeness that I have, but money is a big deal and it's always in short supply for everyone. So the question really comes down to, is the dream box worth the money? So. When I first heard about the dream box years ago, 2017, I think, I knew I wanted it because it's really cool and I was using my kitchen table and it was not working out, but I also couldn't afford it. <laughs> so I saved up and I went to Ikea. I was really broke and I bought cheap stuff instead. I love Ikea, don't get me wrong, um, but it's not the same. Ikea needs a lot to be customized and hacked to get it even close, and it's never even approaching the space-saving nature of the dream box, let alone the coolness factor of it. Nonetheless, many of us use IKEA. So in 2018, I decided to start saving for a dream box. We set it as a big goal. We worked hard towards the goal. We worked when we could have just rested and watched movies or played video games because this was important to us both Greg and I. We set aside money each month for it and we did extra things to earn enough. About a year later, we were able to purchase one. And what I found is that the act of setting the goal, working toward it and achieving it was not only awesome and amazing in itself, but it set us up to keep going, setting goals and realizing dreams. Like this dedicated studio that I'm in right now, and so many other things. And every time I see the dream box, I am reminded of how hard we work to get it and this very tangible reward we have received for our hard work. So I'm constantly, you know, like, hey, woo, look, I did that. <laughs> and I haven't regretted spending that money in any way. In fact, I love it, and pretty much everyone I know or I've seen online who has gotten one says it was worth it for them too. And my fellow Dreambox owners report that they think having a Dreambox helps them finish their projects three times more often than before they had one. Happy is the number one word I hear used to describe the Dreambox, and I couldn't agree more. Some people don't have to save, which is cool. Some people use the financing and do monthly payments. That's also cool. But others do have to save up, and I totally respect that. When there's something you want, 
It gives you a goal and something to strive for. And the reward can be very sweet. So yes, it's an investment, but it's not just to get a piece of furniture. It's totally an investment in yourself and your future. And if you decide it's not for you, that's also totally cool. And I respect that too. But remember those of us who did get it <laughs> or are saving for it and pretty please try not to rain on our parade because I love the dream box. Still, I know you might want one, especially if you're still watching me ramble on about it. And I want you to save as much on it as you can. And that is the reason I became an affiliate so I could get discounts and share them with you. So to check out what the best discount is right now and see ways to save for or finance it, if you think it's right for you, that's very important to me, visit jennifermaker.com slash dreambox2. I even made you a saving and budget worksheet to help you set a goal and work toward it just like we did. If you get the worksheet, this also puts you on my list to be notified of Dreambox deals and sales, which will also help you out. If you're intrigued by the Dreambox and you want to see me unbox and set up this new Dreambox too, check out my full video filled with tips and advice. It's over at jennifermaker.com slash dreambox2. You'll find more fun things over there as well. So please let me know if you have any questions or you want a closer look at anything. I love showing off my Dreambox. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. 